Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony. That was weird. Anyways, as I was saying, um, uh, damn it. So today I'm going to be bringing you all 10 things that you didn't know about textures in Minecraft. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give this video a like. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. I hope you all enjoy it. This is a pretty interesting one in my opinion. The rail has a very awesome and unique feature about its texture, and I'm going to show you all what I mean. So if you look very closely at the texture for the corner rail, then you can definitely see that it closely resembles the stone pickaxe. Before the Minecraft 1.9 update, there was a very strange bug in the game to do with grass, but it was also very interesting at the same time. So basically, if you were to come across a plains biome in your world, then you should perhaps break the bottom half of a too tall grass because something very strange will happen. That's right, as you can see on screen, breaking the bottom half of too tall grass will actually show the peony texture for a split second when you break it. But yeah, in the Minecraft 1.9 update, they actually fix this, but I still think it's kind of strange how this even became a bug in the first place. Emerald ore is a very unique and rare type of ore in the game that can only be found in extreme hills biomes. But did you also know that emerald ore and emerald in general in the game was originally going to be rubies? We know this because in the 1.3 snapshot, Jeb actually used rubies instead of emeralds as the villager trading currency. The ruby ore texture was also used instead of the emerald ore texture, which basically implies that rubies were going to be added instead of emeralds. But the reason why ruby was changed to emerald was because dinner bone is actually red green colorblind so it was changed last minute. So we all know that the hot bar is a selection bar which appears on the bottom of your screen and it's basically used to store and select commonly used items in your inventory. But did you also know that there is a very unique feature about the hot bar texture when you are walking around in your Minecraft world. So if we zoom in closely to the hot bar you can actually see that the texture used for the hotbar itself is actually the texture that is used for the sand. I don't know, to me I think that's a pretty interesting feature that it's using a texture for a block instead of having its own unique texture. The textures that are used for both the apple and the sword actually have some very interesting trivia behind them. So the texture for the apple and the sword were not actually exclusively made for Minecraft itself as they were actually ripped from another game. That's right, as you can see on screen the texture for the apple and the sword were actually ripped from Notch's unfinished and abandoned game Legend of the Chambered. So yeah, when you're killing your friend with that iron sword you made, just remember that that texture was taken from another game. The bed has been in Minecraft since beta 1.3, which means it's been in the game for about four to five years now, which is a very long time. But despite it being in the game for that long, there is still something very weird going on with the bed texture, and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. Now, for some reason, when you look at the bed underneath, you can actually see that the bed legs are completely invisible, which is really, really strange. Now, when you look at the bed normally, you can see that the bed legs are there, but when they're viewed from underneath, they just completely disappear. Now, whether this is a bug or not, I'm not really sure, but it's just really weird. Staying on the topic of textures that are completely invisible when viewed from underneath, there are actually some other items that are also invisible, such as flower pots, comparators, repeaters, and the underneath of activated end portals. There are actually blocks in the game that actually have the same texture as other blocks but perhaps have a different colour or different contrast. The first example is bedrock. Now bedrock actually uses the exact same texture as stone but it just has a higher contrast. The second example is going to be the old coal block texture. Now the old texture for the coal block actually uses the same texture as the redstone block but just with a different colour. So we all know that cobblestone walls are in Minecraft but did you know that there is a really nifty trick that you can do with them to actually make them look like castle walls? That's right, if you actually place string on each cobblestone wall, then you will actually see the appearance of the cobblestone wall look very different, and it will actually look like a castle wall, which looks very awesome. The fence gate is a very useful item for creating farms, as you need to have a fence gate to enter the farm and have a bunch of fences surrounding it. But did you also know that something very weird goes on with the fence gate texture when a cobblestone wall is placed next to it instead of a fence? So as you can see on screen, whenever I place a cobblestone wall next to the fence gate, 
it, you can actually see that the fence gate itself is actually lowered. But if you remove the cobblestone wall, you will actually see it go back to its original position. But anyways, that just about does it for today's video, everybody. So I really hope you all enjoyed it. And if you all want to play on my Minecraft server, then the IP is play.idactivatemc.net. And if you all want to keep up to date for when I'm going to be posting new videos and everything like that, then be sure to follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. But anyways, it is really good to be back, everybody. Did you guys miss me? Good one, Anthony. Just quit YouTube, okay? Thanks, bye. But in all seriousness, I want to thank you all so much for supporting the channel. I just cannot thank you guys enough. I'm just really happy that you guys enjoy my videos and stuff because I put a lot of work into them and it's just really nice to see that you guys enjoy them. I also want to apologize for not uploading for like five days, everybody. I've just been really busy with college work and I've also just been enjoying the amazing weather we've been having recently. It's just been so sunny and it's just been so cool and I've loved it. But I'm now back to making videos again. I've got a ton of ideas and I'm probably going to be uploading another video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, everybody. But I am now so very hungry and I'm probably going to get a Pizza Hut after this because who doesn't love pizza? It's just amazing. But um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching the video, everybody. I love you guys so much and I'm going to get something to drink and something to eat. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye. Love doing this, man.